Welcome. I am Eric with Mother.com and today I would like to take a look at Amazon recording this early February 20, 22, February 8th to be specific and this is where Amazon is trading at about 3,182. All right, let's go to the charts here and we can see that over the last month or so, we've seen big reversals. Here we see a big drop which was about 10% down. And last week, we saw a big recovery here, about 12% to the upside. So a big swing trade, confusing. So where next is the question I'm gonna try and answer. And I'm gonna use the charts and we can see what we can learn from this. So a volatile session over the last couple of weeks. Now, this is the weekly. Let's take a look at the daily. And on the daily, we start seeing some inkling why the stock over the last couple of days has been in this area and deciding for now where it wants to go next. The reason being that if you use my uniformity concept, we can see that if we take where we broke down, which is here, and extend that line. In other words, the break point from right here of these levels has turned into some type of resistance. You can see it right there. And now we are in this general area. Also, we can draw a line on the daily connecting recent RSI highs, it should be something like that. And it connects the prior highs, as you can see, the highs here from July and the high right there. Now I've drawn it through this area here and I explain this in a lot of my videos. Whenever you see a trend line that is showing uniform activity when you draw it, here we go above the line and back below it. That means we can draw the trend line as it is because this was a trap. In a sense, should not have been there. Because of this uniform action, we can understand that actually the market was tricking people to take the wrong direction. And so we can draw our trend line through this area right there because of that uniform action. And anyway, what I'm getting at here is you can see both lines are coming and intersecting around where the RSI is trading right now. So again, it also happens to be where we see a declining 50 day moving average where the stock tagged it right there a couple of days ago. So let me remove all of this. All right, so we can see it again. So we can see we tagged the 50 day moving average is declining. We got that top side resistance line, if I draw it as such, and we got that back test or uniformity line, the black line right there. So right now there's a huge area for the stock to consider what to do next. Resistance around here means that the next meaningful direction for the stock, and I would surmise by large, would also suggest that the market, if this stalls, the market would be due for a reversal, even though it is higher for the day. And if we can clear this area, in my opinion, it is suggestive that the next meaningful direction for the stock is higher. So volatile sessions over the last couple of weeks, down big, and then a huge recovery, in fact, a big one day spike here. So up or down is the big question. Now, oh, by the way, I should mention, should we get a big down move or if the RSI on the daily drops below 50, expect a big down day whenever that happens. So that's just something to consider also for those trading the small time frame from a swing trade perspective. Now, when you take a look at the MACD on the daily, let's do that. We can see on the daily, the MACD, one of the MACDs, I use two MACD settings and I won't get into that for this video, but the settings are right there. I hope you can see it depending on your screen size or resolution. We see that one MACD is above zero, showing that momentum is slowly coming into the name, but the other MACD, the main MACD, is still below zero. So there's no true momentum. Whenever a stock is moving higher, you want to see the MACD is trading above zero. Now there's nothing in using one MACD. You can use the general traditional MACD, no problem. I used to because one gives me a quicker reaction, which is a smaller MACD setting. 
and the other one gives me a slower traditional MACD setting close to the one that you find on most charts on default. So we can say one of the MACDs, the main MACD, still not above zero. So if it reverses and has a crossover below zero, that crossover below zero is more meaningful. Crossovers above zero are not as meaningful. And you can check my playlist on YouTube where I discuss this idea. So I would say from the MACD's true momentum to the upside has not come back in the stock yet. By the way, the four hourly looks exactly like the daily. So I'm going to skip that. If you want, you can take a look at this for yourself. On the four hourly, I'd like to add a similar line or a line that not similar, but different line, which is this line here. And the line connects recent RSI lows on the four hourly. And as you can see, we are also coming back. These are the, the line that gave us these lows connecting those two points. You can see we are back to test that area, which corresponds with this break here. And now we are back to test it. So again, even on the small time frame, if you're trading this from a small time frame, what this means is that before you can take a bullish trade, anticipating movement higher, you'd want to see it clear this line plus the two lines I drew on the daily, which are also relevant here. And we can also see that if this is confirmed as resistance, then the next meaningful direction for this stock and potentially even for the market hour to hour day to day could be for a pullback. All right, so let's see how things are going to play out and see what we can learn from this current situation. We took a look at the daily four hourly and actually even on the weekly, we can draw a line here on the weekly and we can see that this line that I've drawn here on the weekly was the previous support line of a period of many years or many months at the very least. And we can see that we did break below that level, which is this period. And now again, even on the weekly, we are coming back to test that line. If we stay below the black line, chances are this is suggestive that the next meaningful direction for this instrument, and I would say by extension, the general market is for a pullback and for Amazon to move higher and also the market have a tone of bullish sentiment we're going to have to clear this line on the weekly for amazon otherwise resistance again as seen on the daily four hourly and now on the weekly would suggest that the next meaningful direction for this instrument and for stocks in general is lower and i record this so we can learn from it and you can learn from it in your trading and something to consider in your trading journey and so it is I am ericwithmother.com and I leave you, beloveds, as I found you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the one creator, Adonai.